Welcome back, my name is Paige and I'm very much alive for the time being. I have an awful, filthy, disgusting mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know it's disgusting, but so is 2020. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, then honey boo boo, this is not the place for you, you. <laughs> Okay, so for real, hello beautiful people, what is up? I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today. And if you can't tell, today's video is dedicated to the one, the only, the garbage queen, Little Miss Teresa from Teresa is Dead. And for those of you that are newer here, maybe you're not familiar, but this is a series on my channel where I like to go through and I pick a YouTuber, obviously today it is Teresa, and I go through and I test out a ton of their favorite makeup. I, you know, I like to do a nice mixture, some stuff I've used before, maybe I haven't used it in a while, and I like to mix that in with other makeup, makeup I've never tested, um, or you know, like application techniques or whatnot, depending on the individual YouTuber. And I like to just go through it, test it out, you know, see what's good, what I think of it myself. But also, while we're going through all the makeup y stuff, I like to hang out with you guys. I talk about the YouTuber specifically, what I like about them, why I'm drawn to them. And really, the reason I started doing these is because I was looking for a different way. Uh, because you guys are always asking me, like, down in the comments page, who do you like to watch and why? And I really wanted a different kind of way that I could, like, share that with you, that I could, you know, give you the YouTubers that I watch, but also get to explain, you know, what I love and why. And just so you guys know, kind of going into it, if you like this video, you're wanting more, I believe Teresa is the fifth person I will have done this, uh, you know, done this type of video with. I was going to say done this too, but that sounded really weird. Um, but I have done uh, testing Samantha Ravindahl's makeup. I have done Kathleen Lights. I have done um, Jessica Braun. And then most recently I did Taylor Wynn. So again, all of those will be listed down below, up in the eye. They'll be listed somewhere. If you want to check them out, if you like this and you're just, you know, you're interested in more people, definitely check those out. But anyways, getting into today's video, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to, like I said, just sit down, chill out. I'm going to talk to you guys about Teresa, why I love her, um, why I have so much respect for her, and we're just going to get into that whole thing. Obviously, we're going to do some makeup. Like I said, I have a mix-up, some new, some old stuff I haven't played with in a while. If you're new to my videos, at the start, I do like to pause really briefly and introduce myself for anybody that might be new. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Again, welcome to the channel. I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan, honey. That's right. We got the Midwest. We got the northern Michigan. We got some curls. Um, we're living our best life. By the way, I just got my hair done like last week and I am loving, this is one of my favorite hairstyles. I did it on Instagram. Oh, which, hi, segue. Speaking of Instagram, um, and for those of you wondering, yes, I'm always like this. I'm like a very darty personality. It's just, it's who I am. Um, but if you haven't done so yet, I would also really, really appreciate it if you would take a second and go follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. But on that platform, I am trying really hard to hit 10,000 followers. And um, I, I just put a ton of content over there. I promise if you're into makeup or plus size fashion or IGTV videos, reels, comedy, uh, unboxings, anything like that, that is definitely going to be a place for you. Uh, because like I said, I just, I post a lot over there. There's a ton of content and I really love to hanging out like in the IG stories in the day to day. We do, you know, office chats, we go for walks, we do the unboxings. And I kind of give you guys not only the polls and the behind the scenes of the channel and what's to come, but I also really love talking to you guys about, you know, just like my day to day favorites and whatnot. So like I said, if you haven't done so yet, please, please, please take a second, go follow me on Instagram. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. And with that, let's go ahead. Let's zoom the camera in and let's get started. Ah Teresa, I'm so sorry. If you're watching this, by the way, she has no idea this is coming. Uh, so if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, but also get ready, bitch, because it's time. <laughs> it is time. I came into this conversation with a water. I'm armed with a water. That's like going into war, being armed with a pickle. Like, what are you, you going to do? What am I supposed to do with this? Absolutely. I mean, I'm going to drink it because I'm dying of thirst, but this is, this is disgraceful. Oh, and I think it's old. Can water go bad? Because, oh, bitch, <laughs> I think I think it did. Okay, so we're going to do this a little different. I can't find any hair clips, and I've got to clip <laughs> these little things back. I cannot have hair in my face when I do makeup. Uh, I don't know how. Can we just talk for us real quick, like, real talk? How do YouTubers, when they're doing their makeup, they just have, like, all of this hair right here, and they're like, I'm going to put on my foundation. How? How can you... How can you function like that? I literally, when I do my makeup, I'm just like, Poof. like I want to look like I'm bald all the way to the back of my head. That's how much blank canvas space I need. I will never, never understand um, how people do it the other way. Like it makes absolutely no sense to me. But let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna clip her here. Look, at, look and fly. And we're gonna. Did I just say fly? Also, I'm not gonna talk about it. We're gonna clip this one here. Oh my God, she's beauty. She's Grace. <laughs> she's Miss United States. Okay. So first things first. Now that we're done gawking at ourselves, we are gonna get started 
started with a primer. Now, Teresa recently, by the way, put up um, her video. It was her year-end favorites. I'll link that up here if you haven't seen it. And in that video, she did talk about a lot of these, but just so you guys know, when I am curating these videos, I do go through and like I basically stalk the person <laughs> for like several, several videos back. Um, I'm working on another one for a different YouTuber, and I have been looking through videos that were like back in 2018. Like that's the level of stalkitude I go to find these suggestions. But suffice to say, okay, moral of the story here, I have been looking real hard for a lot of these, and one of the things that she has talked about non damn stop, just like me, okay, no shade, um, but she has talked about this Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. It is like her favorite go-to primer. She loves it more than the putty one, and I am not gonna lie, I, I I tend to agree with her. Like, I personally love the putty one. I actually have it right here. I've been using it a lot lately, but one of the things I think that kind of gives this one um, a little bit of an edge up on the putty is that it does have, especially in the winter months here, it does have a little bit more of a slip to it, a little bit more hydration, I would say. Let's go ahead from here and get into, I have all of the stuff <laughs> that I'm using for this video, by the way, piled on the floor right in front of me, because when I tell you this whole space right here, actual shit show disaster. Like, there's just so much stuff. Um, so all of it is piled on the floor, so if you see me kind of doing a lot of this, like, oh girl, I'm not, I'm not doing lunges, I'm just trying to grab the stuff. And going into the first one, we're actually gonna be using for foundation, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. And this one I am gonna be using in the shade Fair 30N. And I'm gonna be applying this just with a little beauty sponge here. And this is a um, foundation that Teresa has talked about several times. It's a very, very nice, lightweight um, option if you're wanting something that is very um, kind of like your skin, but better. It, it has that kind of effect on the skin. You don't really feel it a ton. Oh wow, that was that was all the foundation for the whole face. It's just really a nice like day to day foundation. If you're looking for something that has a nice medium coverage, it works really well with a lot of other um, products, be it concealers, powders, whatnot. I do completely agree with Teresa on you know like all of the claims that she said. It's a great foundation. I really like it. Um, and I think as far as foundations go, <laughs> a mirror would be very helpful, wouldn't it? Yes. Um, um, but I think that as far as foundations go, this one is just really such an easy one to use. It's easy to um, not only, like I said, pair with other items, but it's also great in terms of like the type of coverage you're looking for, how you want it to last, things like that. Like you can really, um, I feel like you can really kind of customize this one to get what you're looking for. So going into concealer, out of the two that she listed in her, yes, her year-end favorites video, which was the Rare Beauty Concealer and the Pat McGrath Concealer, I have used both. I really, really enjoy both. But for today, I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath concealer and I have this one in the shade L1. It is pretty light on me but I'm choosing this concealer because the Rare Beauty one is a little bit more, yeah and it matches this foundation actually really well, um, but I'm choosing this one because the Rare Beauty does have a little bit less coverage to it. It's a little more hydrating and because um, I'm looking toward like the other products I'm going to be playing around with, I want to have more coverage with this look. I want it to be just a little bit more glam and a little less, you know, light coverage. Oh my god, I just love this concealer. Like it looks so pretty. Oh, it's so nice. And I'm actually really shocked. I just bought the, um, cause this shade is so light and I just bought the next darkest shade when she was having the sale on her website right before Christmas. And I don't know where I put it. <laughs> Otherwise I would be using that one right now because you know what, even, uh, even with this foundation, it still is a little bit light, but that's fine. We're just going to bronze it up. Y'all we're going to warm up the skin. We're going to make it look good. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Just trust the process. <laughs> try, well, at least try to trust the process. So really quickly here, as per usual with me, I have to set my under eyes and my T-zone. And uh, so this is not like a Teresa thing. This is a page thing. And I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me. This is an 05 Fair. And I'm just going to use this to pack it under the uh, the eyes and again through the T-zone, like I said. For those of you that might be thinking, Paige, doesn't Teresa have a powder? Like you could have, ah, boop, boop, no more, no more talking. Eh, stop. Uh, we're going to get there, okay? In due time. Just give me a second. Give me a minute. Okay, so I was going to skip and just do all powder products for today. But I decided I wanted to incorporate this one cream product. This is from the brand Ritual de Fil. And this is their Inner Glow creme pigment. It's in the shade Lovesick. And I have used this before. I think it was like testing new makeup or new at Alta or something. I'll link it up here. Um, so this is not my first time using it, but this was one that Teresa did talk about, I believe also in her favorites video. But I wanted to put these in this video because personally for me, I have used this several times. And I think that when it comes down to this brand and like these cream blushes specifically, I just don't think they get enough love. Like they have such an amazing emolliency. They really press into the skin. They look seamless. They really do a nice job working with how however you do your skin because they sink in so well and they just like press in. They don't make your um, like your other products look thick or chunky. It's very like skin like. All right, you guys. So it is time. We are going to get into the item that you all have been waiting for. You know that I have it. Like if I was going to do this video and 
And uh, believe me, by the way, I've been planning this for months. Um, this is a product that I think you would have to have if you are planning to make a video that even re remotely resembles stuff that Jerisa loves. And that would be none other than this Chantecaille powder. This is the Chantecaille Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And this is a powder that, uh, by the way, if you go looking for it, like I don't, I don't think I'll be able to link it down below because to my understanding, they actually are not selling this anymore. Like for the rest of 2020, I think it's due to come back sometime in 2021. I actually picked this powder up a long time ago. As you can tell, like I have not used it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, I picked this up a long, long time ago when I was getting ready or, you know, preparing to do this video. And oh my God, that is so beautiful. Like it has such an ornate look to it. Ooh, very, very silky feeling. It doesn't have much of like a skin presence, no coverage. It's very much so just like a finishing powder. What I'm going to do to apply this is I'm just going to take a big old fluffy brush here. This is the Morphe uh, JH01. And I'm just going to, you know, kind of do one of these, pop it in and go right over top of everything just to give it a nice light set. If you guys follow me or you're used to, you know, how I do my makeup, normally at this step, I am using a foundation powder just for a little extra coverage, you know, just for a little bit more rigidity, a little more long lasting on my skin. But with Teresa, again, because she has more um, dry skin, she doesn't, you know, use that kind of stuff because it tends to dry out her skin, at least I'm assuming. Oh, you guys, this is so beautiful. Oh, and I've had this in my possession for literally months and never used it. Why? Okay, this is gorgeous. When I tell you guys in this area on both sides, I have so much texture um, and you literally can't even see it right now. It just looks so nice and so airbrushed. Um, by the way, y'all, I've been going through some hormone shit. If you're new here, you might not know this. I don't know, um, but I have a brain tumor, okay? It, it causes me to go through like puberty, pregnancy, and menopause like constantly all the time. And I had such an awful, awful hormonal breakout um, in the last month. Like my cheeks were just like red. They were inflamed. They were just pissed at the world. And this whole area right here has been so annoyed, but this powder looks gorgeous. Also, for anybody that's new here, if, if not, you, I mean, you know the drill. Do you see what's in my hand? Um, but if you're newer here, I have like super duper watery eyes. They water really bad on the outer V right here, sometimes on the inner, but most of the time right here. So if you ever happen to notice that like things are really red or my eyeshadow looks kind of funky, it's just because my eyes water constantly and uh, there's really nothing I can do about it. So just, you know, just FYI, if you happen to notice, that's what it is. Okay, so moving on, this is another one that I picked up a while ago, um, like right after they launched and it is from Lethal Cosmetics. Now, Lethal Cosmetics is one of Teresa's favorite brands. I actually think she might have a code with them. If she does, I'll link it down below. It's probably code garbage and probably for 10% off if I had to guess. But they are one of her favorite brands and I just could not resist. Like I knew this would be one that I had to use in this video. They recently came out with, um, in the last couple of months, these face powder palettes. And I picked them up in two different versions. I grabbed Vernal and Burial, I think is what those say. And they're just super beautiful. First of all, this packaging, oh my God, this packaging is everything. And I grabbed them in two different versions because I really wasn't sure as far as like the tones and whatnot. Okay, so I think of the two, I'm gonna start off with the lighter. They don't have the names on them anymore, so I don't know which one this is. But I'm gonna start off with the lighter bronzer here, and then if I need to, I can dip into this one. But I definitely wanna start with a lighter hand and kind of go from there. All right, so I found my little brush. This is just a duo fiber. It's from IT Cosmetics. It's their 202 Flawless Powder. And I love anything like this that has like a duo fibery texture just because it's easy for me to work into the skin. And by the way, now that we're to the powder stage, I feel like I can actually stop and talk to you guys. Ooh, that's a really nice color. Okay, but anyways, for real, let's talk about Teresa. I, I want to say her and I started talking-ish and became friends, like, or, well, we, we started talking. In my mind, we were fast friends. Um, but we started talking like a year and a half ago. Has it been that long? Uh, have I been annoying the shit out of you for that long, Teresa? Um, but yeah, it's been a while and her and I, I feel like we we hit things off pretty quickly as far as like who we were and like as far as our personalities go. It was just so weird for me because when I first started talking to her, like I hadn't really been the type of person, like I, I'm not the kind of YouTuber that like goes out and like has friendships with other YouTubers. Um, I, I've just always been that person that like stayed in my own corner. I never talked to anybody. I never reached out. I never collab, you know, stuff like that. And so it was just interesting because when I first started talking to her, she's like, oh yeah, you know, I've been, I've been watching you forever and it's surreal to get to talk to you. And in my head, I was just like, me? <laughs> like you, you, me? Like, are we talking me? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just so blown back. Um, because I guess I just, I never would have thought about that. Like I never would have realized that other people out there cared or would want to talk to me. I don't know. It was just such a weird moment, I guess. And that's, uh, that's always like my first thing that I think of, um, as far as where our relationship started, because I honestly think if it wasn't for Teresa, sorry, I gotta, gotta pat my eyes again. Um, but I honestly think if it wasn't for Teresa and if it wasn't for like her reaching out and talking to me and like building some sort of a friendship, which I'm sure, I'm sure now she regrets because <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do send her text messages. 
messages often trying to figure out why I can't get Final Cut Pro to work. <laughs> poor, poor girl answers her text messages, but I still feel bad. Um, but if it wasn't for her and if we never would have started talking and become friends, I honestly don't think I would have a lot of the people I talk to on YouTube. Like I, I've, I've made other friends and it's because I opened up or because she opened up rather and like had a friendship with me and started talking. Um, I just, I never thought in my mind that I was the type of person that was like worthy of that kind of relationship. Like somebody that was worthy of a friend who um, just existed. Like I, I've always been, and this is kind of a weird, like I don't know if I've ever talked about this, which by the way, actually pause before I do. Um, let's get into blush because for blush, hi. Um, for blush, we're actually going to be using these Wayne Goss face palettes uh, because obviously the Lethal Cosmetics, they do have ones in there, but I just want to spread the love around. And these palettes from Wayne Goss, I bought all of his um, blush palettes when he came out with them. There are five different versions. And um, Teresa talked about these recently. I, I don't think I've ever talked about these in a video, but when I tell you, I have used these so freaking much ever since they came out. I think they are amazing. The quality is so good. They're beautiful. Like the texture of them is so fine and just... Ooh, it looks so good and the highlights are beautiful like just everything about these is gorgeous and so for today I'm trying to decide do I want to go in with blush peony or do I want to go in with coral rose this one's coral rose right yeah this one's coral rose and then this one has a little bit more of like a pink you know I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one this is blush peony and I'm going to apply this with just a little brush here this is the BH number three out of a holiday kit that I tested recently oh I love you I had disgusting stale water thank you so much you guys, my parents just brought me Diet Coke. Oh my God. I feel so good. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I'm never going to touch that stale, disgusting, stank ass water ever again. All right. So going into this, I wasn't sure if I wanted to mix these because I, like I have a ton of other highlighted stuff from, of course, you know, the, the alien slut glowy queen of life over here. But um, I wasn't sure now that I look at it, I kind of want to mix them just a freckle, like go in just a just, you know, just a lot, little teeny tiny bit. A little bit goes a long way with these. And I want to just, <laughs> as I go back and forth 17 times, uh, but I want to just mix them together ever so slightly here. And um, this is what I'm going to be using for blush. Oh my God, do you see how bad my eye is like leaking right there? Both sides. It has stripped the concealer and the foundation like off of that whole area. Ugh, so annoying. Don't get me wrong. I don't care. I'm so used to it at this point. Also, can we just give like a second for how beautiful this freaking blush is? Maybe Have I maybe talked about these in like a favorites or something? I don't know. But this is just such a great color. It's one of those ones that you can really manipulate to like have it be what you want. If you want it to be more demure, if you want it to be more poppy, his blushes are just so easy to work with. And no matter how you apply them, they sink into the skin so effortlessly. They have like a, the perfect blurring effect. Now, this is just a me thing, not necessarily a Teresa thing, but I'm going to take some of my number seven uh, lift and Illuminate powder. This is in the shade light. And as per usual here, I'm just going to use this to brighten up my under eyes. This is just an area on me that tends to get darker. It's the like under bag region. And it's just, it's just where all my baggage goes to die, like right up under here. And so I like to take some brightening powder. I use it just to kind of highlight the face a little bit down the nose. And sometimes like today when I'm feeling a little bit extra froggy, I'll take and just map out ever so lightly. I don't ever want like a super harsh, you know, cut line or anything, but just, you know, on a day like today, where my um, my bronzer starts to droop a little, I like to go in and just very lightly kind of cut out these areas. So going on to brows, I'm going to use some products I think that she likes. She didn't call out any specifically in her end of the year favorites, but this is the ABH Brow Wiz, and I'm going to use it in medium brown. I think that she likes this. I believe she might like the Benefit Precisely My Brow a little bit better, but I'm going to use this one because I had it sitting on top. And then in addition to that, I'm actually going to use a brow gel from Benefit just to, you know, still represent that Benefit presence. And this is the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel, and this is in the shade 3.5, and I don't know with Teresa if she uses a brow gel all that often. I don't think she does, um, but I'm going to use it because, A, I have to use it. I like, I have to have a way to give give these little bit of brows some kind of presence. Um, so I'm just going to go in with these two, you know, spoolie them through as per usual, and then we'll move on. Okay, you guys, so while I was off of camera doing the brows, obviously finished that up, I did decide to wipe off the bake and set my face with a little bit of my Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray, um, just to help kind of press everything in because because I do want to go in with highlight um, next, that way, you know, before I do eyeshadow, because it just, it kind of kills me that I don't have, like, some alien slut glowy goodness 
on my face yet. Because for anybody that watches Teresa, okay, one of the things that you take away from every video is that if you are not a glowing, gorgeous, sexy ass alien slut, like well, what are you doing with your life? And so of course, going into today's video, I had several, several choices. Things that she has loved throughout the years, things that she loved even, you know, just in that video she just put up, her year end favorites. Um, there, there were just a lot of different options. And I decided to go with one that I um, have tried before. It's a brand that uh, her and I actually both receive PR from. And that is the brand Kaleidos. And I decided to go with Kaleidos because these highlights, I feel like they just don't get enough love and they really need to be talked about. No matter, no matter how much she or I talk about them, I really just feel like they need to be out there. And so for today, I'm actually going to go in with a mixture of two different highlights. This is one of their newer ones. It's in the shade, what is this, Prophecy? This is their Space Age highlight. Yes, in the shade Prophecy. And like, I'm sorry, but their packaging, can you see how adorable this is? It's a little tin. And it's just so freaking adorable, you guys. I cannot speak highly enough of these. I think they're so beautiful. And this one, oh my God, the texture. It is so silky and so reflective. So typically for me, this wouldn't be my go-to aesthetic. It's more of like kind of a, a duochrome type situation. Uh, but the texture of it is absolutely beautiful. It's so glowy and so blinding. And so I thought what we would do is mix this one, again, the shade Prophecy, one of their newer launches, with one of their originals. This is their Diamond Dasher highlight. And this one I love because, again, the texture of it is so ooh, it's so beautiful but it has like this nice kind of like glittery pink sheen to it you can see it right here and it just looks beautiful all over like draped as a highlight but even more specifically using this as like a targeted highlight like right up in these regions your inner corner stuff like that it is just absolutely gorgeous what i'm gonna do here is go in first like i said with prophecy this is one that's a little bit more duochromy and i'm gonna take this on a fluffier brush this is just an angled becca brush that i found in my collection but i'm gonna be using this one because it'll help kind of disperse the product a little more. It'll help um, kind of counteract the super intense duochrome aspect of it because, again, that's not so much my style. But I do really, really love the intensity and the way that it melts in. So this will help kind of buff it in a little bit. And I'm going to take just a little bit. You guys, this stuff, it is potent. So let's take a little bit of it here and just very gently kind of Ooh, honey child, just drape it onto the cheek. And by the way, you can tell, like, by looking at it, it is too deep for my skin tone. It definitely gives me a cast, and I do not care. <laughs> this is such a beautiful highlight. Um, and that's obviously another reason that we're gonna mix it together with the other one here in just a second. But, like, look at that color. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so you know what? I'm just going in now with the Diamond Dasher, and I feel like we could even do one more. Because, honestly, if we're talking about Teresa what why not like is there really a limit to highlights no um so let's go ahead what's ooh, what's a good one? Oh, you know what i know one we could use i go in with this one again the out of the coral rose palette it's just the highlight shade we're just gonna throw a little bit of that on oh in what world is this a bad decision look at that so good okay so now i'm just going in no additional product on the brush i'm taking the blush brush from the wayne goss palette and i'm very lightly kind of melding these two worlds together between the highlight and the blush just so that way when you look at it there's not like a stripe right there i want it to be just Oh, just, I want the whole cheek to just glow, bitch. Like, I, I want it to be its own little light bulb. Just bam, just giving, giving it to the world here. Okay, so now at this point, we're finally gonna move on past highlight. I feel, I feel like we've spent 15 minutes just right here. And we are gonna move on to eyeshadow. This is an area for me where I really struggle because the, um, the, the most plain Jane version of me wants to go with this palette. This is one of Teresa's favorites. She's talked about it a lot. Um, I can't open it because I've never used it. This is the Maybelline, I'm sorry, yes, the Nudes of New York Maybelline palette. And it is just an all neutral palette. She, it's super beautiful. I've heard that it's creamy, amazing, yada, yada. And so, you know, like me, my, my just, you know, my inner plainness here, I want to go with this palette. However, however, um, I also took it upon myself several, several months ago to put together this palette on the Letho Cosmetics site. And because even though I figure like it's not her favorite like stock palette that they make, she absolutely loves and like raves about Letho Cosmetics. And so I made this palette all on my own. I incorporated, you know, pops of blue. We got a little pink. We have like this nice neutral moment here. When I created this, this is kind of the kick that's I, I think I'm gonna use this one because when I created this palette I did create it specifically for this video because I wanted to have something um, that like you know from a brand that she really loved but also something that I could put my own spin on and so I made this I don't know specifically what the shades are because you know they're all in there packed together but uh, this was just an individual like a, um, a magnetic palette from their site that I went ahead then and filled and now I will say there's two areas of this video where I screwed up because uh, there are two items that are very distinctly missing number one from lethal they also 
also came out with their uh, little gel eyeliners, and those liners look absolutely fantastic. I've never gotten to play with them because I just <laughs> forgot to purchase them, um, but they look absolutely amazing. The texture is great. I've shared several videos on my Instagram of like them mixing the colors, using them, and even Teresa says that they're amazing. So just, again, another thing from them. I don't have it personally, but I've heard great, great things. Obviously don't have that, and then the other thing that I don't have is the, I believe it's the Gerard Cosmetics, their clean canvas base that you use for your eyes, and Teresa has raved about that for so, so long, and it wasn't until I literally sat down, planned this video, I'm sitting down to do it, that I looked down and I was like, oh my god, like out of all the things to forget, that is something that she has raved about so much time and time and time again. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't have it. I'm just going to be using concealer, but I just wanted to point it out there. Those are two things that she does love, and she talks about them a lot, and I just forgot because I fail. Um, but you know, just as a side note. Anyways, getting into this right here, I want to swatch some of these because I haven't even so much as swatched, touched. I've not done anything aside from put the shades in here because I wanted to have like this whole, you know, first impression experience with you guys. And so I think where we're going to start is swatching some of these. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, let's start. Oh, wow. Those have a great consistency to them. Uh, let's do a couple of the matte. Oh my God. You guys, that matte, it legitimately feels like silk. It is so gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna swatch these just right here. Oh, <gasps> what are you, you magnificent deep sea beauty. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Um, let's go ahead here. We also have this really bright blue one. Ooh, super good. We have a nice brown, oh my God. God, these are gorgeous. The texture of them is super even. Like, that is a one swipe. That's like a nice medium tone, deeper pink shade. And then this one right here, the one I'm saying is going to be my inner corner. Bam! Look at, oh, you guys, are you telling me that these are not just absolutely gorgeous? Texture and everything, 10 out of 10 so far. They feel fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's get into the eye look, okay, Paige? Why, why are you taking so long? Let's get into it. So first off, just going in here with a little bit of my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. This is in the shade number two. And I'm using this just as my eye primer base, as I already mentioned. So getting into the eye look, I'm gonna start off just nice even tone here with this little light brown shade, and I'm taking this on a Sigma E40. I have no idea where I want this look to end up, so I'm just taking this kind of as a blanket, you know, through the crease type shade, really working it all the way through, more in like a rainbow motion. Okay, so with that worked through the crease, I really like that actually, just does like a basic crease color, it's really nice. Um, but from there, I wanna take and deepen it up just a little bit with the brown shade, the one that I swatched right there. It's the second deepest one that I included in this palette. Oh wow, these are like hyper soft too. Definitely be mindful um, with how much pressure you touch because I touched a little too hard. Um, so let's just be mindful. We're gonna go in and tap that. I'm taking it on the same brush. And I think for this color, I'm gonna take it right on the outer V and lightly kind of pull it up into that outer socket right there and then lightly blend it over. Also too, kind of talking about, or getting back to rather the Teresa thing and like when we started talking, it was so funny because like when we first started, she asked me, you know, like why don't you talk to other people? And I told her I didn't know like A, if I would jive with other people, if they would like me, whatever. And Teresa was that person that kind of gave me like the the confidence, like Paige, people do like you. Like you're, you're the creator that a lot of us talk about but no one's ever talked to because because you, you won't like come out of your shell. And I think honestly, now looking back on it, she was trying to find the polite way to be like, Paige, you are so unapproachable. Like not not in like a, like a mean bitchy way, but like I was just so to myself and I didn't realize it. So finding her, it was just so monumental for me because she not only encouraged me to like do things and like come out of my shell and talk to people, but she also was somebody that came along at just the right time and encouraged me like, Paige, people do like you. Like you're, you're a watched person for a reason. You know, you have an audience and people enjoy you. I'm actually gonna go in and deepen it up just a little bit with this deep brown right here, the deepest one. But the thing about Teresa too that I think is so cool is that she is that person for me um, that like I see her very much so becoming a larger YouTuber, somebody with a huge audience, somebody that like people look to and I, I just love that so much. Like I love knowing that I am friends with somebody that has the ability to reach and to um, speak to so many people and she's so real and she's very authentically herself. And I love that as her friend, like I get to see somebody that I love and somebody that I appreciate, um, I get to see that person be loved and appreciated by so many, like thousands and thousands of other people. And it's just so awesome. Like the, the fact, the way that she's able to reach people the way that she is, the, the way that she is able to just, again, just like be herself so authentically. I think that it just speaks so highly of the person that she is and her personality. And I, I really, I, I can't say enough good things about her as like a person and as a friend, but even as a creator, I just have so much respect for her. Also, I'm gonna go on now to 
the refer number 13 it's like a smaller pencil brush i absolutely love love refer and so does she they are a fantastic fantastic brush company um but i'm gonna move on now and do the same thing basically on the lower lash line and i'm mainly wanting to concentrate some of the darkness out here on this outer v to help uh because it's already dark there because my eyes have been watering so much so i'm just going to concentrate and kind of keep elongating the eye that way but just so you know this is what i'm using and uh, i love it so much their brushes regardless of which one face brushes eye brushes all of them they are so so nice okay so i think at this point i have to add some color because i deliberately did not use <laughs> this maybelline one because i was like oh hey i'm gonna use some color and so far <laughs> this is what we have so i'm gonna go in now i would really i think love to play with this darker shade maybe like these two together i just think they would look so oh my god like that is gorgeous maybe this one like on or toward the outer v right here this one on the inner and then oh even this one on like the very inner like i could create kind of like a whole blue scape right through that brown that could look really really pretty i think okay so i think that's what we're gonna do and i'm just gonna start with what i have on my finger because why not and i am just gonna lightly kind of tap this on i'm gonna create like a very natural not structured gradient starting at the back part of my eye right here with that blue right in the middle here i'm gonna take the lighter blue oh my god these shades are gorgeous oh that is everything oh my god like that has such a poppy presence i'm not even using a glitter glue you guys like that is a hundred percent payoff from the shade so beautiful lethal oh my god your shades are fan freaking tastic okay um let's also take a little bit of that kind of run it into the inner corner Ooh, yep mm -hmm, yep yep i am looking like a mermaid honey and she is looking so damn good and then right at the back half here with that sigma e40 the one that i was using before i'm just gonna take and lightly kind of blend that blue into the brown because I don't want to run the blue all the way back like over top of it and completely take away the brown. I want them to kind of fade together. All right, so really quick, I did go ahead and finish up the eyes, obviously. They look absolutely gorgeous. I love, love this color story. Um, but I went ahead and finished those up and then I did go ahead as well and spray my face with the Hourglass Soft Focus Veil Setting Spray. And this is a setting spray that Teresa has talked about time and time again. She really likes it. Now I will say with this setting spray, it doesn't do much in the way of like hydrating or mattifying or anything like that. It's more so like designed to kind of blur your skin, like your texture and whatnot. But I will say, in my opinion, it does a very nice job with that. It's a great, um, kind of like how the Chantecaille powder is more of like a, a finishing powder. It's like designed to blur in that sense. This is very much so that kind of a spray where it's not gonna do much, um, you know, this way or that way, but it will help to just like soften the focus and kind of help your skin look a little bit more naturally blurred. And it's, it's a really beautiful spray. So I do like that. All right, now at this point, it's time for mascara and it would not be a Teresa video if I did not use this damn mascara this is the Chantecaille um long sill or long something some kind of long mascara okay from Chantecaille and this mascara I purchased it because she recommended it in a Chantecaille video a long time ago and because uh, they were having a sale if memory serves and she recommended this she said it was amazing so of course I picked it up I did a full video testing Chantecaille which I will link up here and um this mascara you guys I when I tell you I think it's like a $70 mascara. And when I tell you, I could not, I fully expected to buy this and be like, ah, bitch, no, because there was, there was just no way in hell that this could be worth it. But this mascara is oh so good and the way that this mascara coats your lashes and just makes them look so long and so beautiful um it's just it's absolutely mesmerizing i love it i've used it a ton i'm actually almost out and i think that this is a mascara regardless of the price this is one that i would consider repurchasing because it is so so freaking nice i love the formula i will say it's definitely not the kind of formula like if you want like a thick or a chunky like a hyper volumizing mascara i don't think that this would be for you it's much more of that like elongated kind of beauty beautiful, elegant. Like when, when I look at my lashes, that's actually the perfect way. I would describe them as elegant when they are wearing this because they just look so, so damn beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, yeah, I'm going to put some of this on and it's going to look gorgeous. You'll, you you wait and see to the close up. They're going to look great. Right, so while I was doing my mascara, I did go ahead and add some liner. I used just the basic uh, black liner. I think it was from Fenty on the upper lash line. And then for the lower lash line, I was going to use the Fenty Blue Lagoon. It is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorites. And I know Teresa really likes that one as well, but I 
I can't find it anywhere. It's not, it's not in my dish. It's nowhere around me. I looked for like 10 minutes. Um, so instead I went in with this color. This is actually the NYX Epic Wear Liner and it's in the shade Turquoise Storm and it is absolutely beautiful. It gives me just the right amount of like depth with the blue undertone that I was looking. And so I put this on just the lower waterline to complete the eyes. And then from there, we're going to move on to lips. First up, this is the one from M Cosmetics. This is their Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner. And I'm actually using this in the shade Teddy. It's the one I've been using a lot lately. If you've been following me um, over on Instagram, especially, you've seen me wear it like almost every day. It's such a beautiful color. And then from Wayne Goss over top of that, I'm going to take his gloss in the shade Antique Rose. And this is one of my favorite, favorite colors. I actually really love his entire line of glosses. Um, they're all super beautiful. They have an amazing reflection. Oh God. And all of the colors are just so great. They're easy to work with. And all right, you guys, with that, we are officially done. Obviously, this is how everything came together. And I'm going to put up the up close. That way you guys can see it a little better. Complexion, eyes, the whole bit. Um, but I think for me, as far as like the standout products go, I'm really, really impressed with those lethal shadows. I freaking love the way they perform. Like the, the lethal face palettes, the, I mean, the bronzer that I used, I didn't use all three shades in it, but the bronzer performed really, really nice too. I can tell just from using, you know, the eyeshadow and that, like they have a really good texture to their products. I feel like um, they have a nice emolliency to them, very easy to blend and work with. For me, these are turquoisey kind of shades that I would reach for again and again because they really do blend. And I love that when you blend them in with other stuff, especially brown, they didn't get muddy at all, which is super, super impressive. So I really like that. I'm also really impressed while we're on the topic with this damn Chantecaille powder. It is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for it to come back in stock so you guys can try it um, if you haven't already because it looks like I keep looking in the mirror. I'm so impressed with how nicely it like buffs over the skin. And then as far as Teresa goes too, I, I kind of like to round out these videos with like encapsulated, you know, thoughts. And with her, I highly recommend checking out her channel. Of course, I love it. I watch it all the time. And I think with her, one of the things that I appreciate the most, um, not only is she like genuine and she's very real, which by the way, if you go to watch her, if you've never watched her before, she does swear and she's a little more on the raunchy side. So keep that in mind, either if that's not your thing or if you have kids around and you don't want them to hear, you know, some something like that. Just keep that in the back of your mind as you click um, because she's very unapologetically herself, which I love, but it does come, <laughs> comes with that kind of caveat. So keep that in mind. Like I was saying, if you've never checked her out, I highly recommend it. She is hilarious to listen to. She does such a fantastic, fantastic job when she's telling a story. Like if you have never listened to this bitch tell you um, any any of her stories, whether it's like her old, you know, when she was riding the subway. Wow, there, there's a blast from the past. Uh, but she had like all of her stories of like going to and from work or commuting stories or anything like that. I highly encourage you to go back, listen to them or even some of her recent ones. She has um, just like little chit chat, get ready with me's where she tells you a story um, or like they went to um, they went to the container store, stuff like that. Like just listen to her and listen to how she crafts a story. And I think for me too, the, the thing that really hooked me in with her, like during these stories is that she is one of the only people on the internet. Like I watch a lot of people. Okay. And she's one of the only ones that can make me laugh. Like a very genuine, hearty, like, ha ha. Well, that's not, that's not genuine, but, um, one of the only people that I've ever watched that can actually make me laugh. And it's just because she, when she tells a story or when she is talking about stuff, she just has like her own way of doing it. And when you're somebody who's used to being the funny one, who's used to, you know, being the comedic dad, joke relief or whatever, uh, whatever, whatever category, whatever weird ass category I fall into. But like, she's that person that I, when I watch her, I do get that genuine laugh. And then the other thing too, with Teresa that I love, if you are somebody that's into like bright, colorful eye looks, oh my word. Okay. This woman can create a look. It'll have like 17 fucking primary colors on. I don't even know there are that many, but she will take them all and just like, poof, put them all into her eyes, waterline, whatever. And it somehow always looks good. Like the colors, they just work. And I am like such a plain Jane kind of person, as we've said 17 times. Um, I have such a hard time like seeing that side of it, like the artistic, the colorful, and she is just so, so good at that. She's so bright and fun and colorful when it comes to her makeup. So in conclusion, okay, if you haven't checked out Teresa, whether it is the bright, colorful looks, the language, the stories, whatever, I highly recommend checking her out. But I think for me, I just have so much respect for her as like a friend, a creator, and all of the above. Um, she's just fantastic. So make sure that you go check her out. Show her some love if you haven't done so yet. You know what? While we're on the topic, give me all of your thoughts and opinions down below on Teresa. Um, um, on this video, if you love her, you love watching her like I do, do you like this series? Do you like the makeup? Make sure that you leave me down in the comments all of your thoughts on who you think the next one should be or the next couple of people because obviously I want to do these on the creators that mean the most to you guys, the people that you want to see. Like I said at the start of the video, uh, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. Everything would be greatly, greatly appreciated, especially Instagram. And with that beautiful people, I thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and I took another drink. Why?
Literally, my tongue is like rejecting it. Like, stop, stop, stop. Let's go, Jen. Let's go, Jen. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about Teresa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have yourself some fun. Okay. <laughs> don't fall. That would be so rude. Okay. And I don't tolerate rudeness. We don't tolerate rudeness in this house.